besties, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Full oracle card spread here on YouTube. And then we have the extended if you choose to go enjoy. <laughs> That's a full tarot card spread and romance reading. This is for Aries energy, Aries sun, moon, and rising. Aries sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, wherever Aries energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you're watching this, it's the time that you're supposed to be watching it. So it's not date specific, but it does have sort of an energy <laughs> kind of. Um, I was going to say, I lost my words. Oh, Aries. Hold on. Trust in divine detours. Nice. This is Sagittarius energy. So this is the energy that's crowning your reading. Um, six plus one or one plus six in this case is seven. This is the number of creation. So something is coming to being. And honestly, Aries, this card is saying that overall, it's best if you don't think too far ahead. Just let things happen this week. Uh, be improvisational. That's what it is. Don't try to plan too much. And I even think that this is almost your mentality. I don't even think you're going to have to think about it is what I'm saying. This is like, a, oh, whatever happens. Well, and that's the perfect energy to be in this week because there's something out of the blue, unexpected, unpredicted that's going to pull you toward it. Follow. Go with the flow. Let it happen because that's where the change is going to come. I think that this is really unexpected. Okay. Mm. And it's not like a, it's not unexpected changes like the tower. That's not what it is. This is fun and playful energy. So you're going to have an opportunity for happiness, for fun, for adventure. Are you ready? Oh, what's that? Aries. Jeez, this is a big reading. All right. I'm good with that. Love is all around. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is just an unexpected love affair. This is Gemini energy. So it really is being able to, it's not just, it's not just love or people hitting on you. It's people being complimentary, people appreciating you. Uh, four plus one equals five. So this is the number of change. And then you have these divine detours. So maybe you'll change in levels or maybe you're changing your mentality or mood around love. It's lightening. The air is letting up, you know, <laughs> the fog is clearing. This is playful energy too, having fun, communication coming in, expressions of love, or especially if this is divine detours, maybe seeing people or being attracted to people that you normally would not be. Something about the unexpected here. Bring your ideas to life. It's gonna shock you. <laughs> This is, it's going, it's, going to, it's going to sneak up on you and surprise you, but this is also the energy of something new beginning. Um, two plus four is six. So six relates to, for me, the energy of the lovers, the major arcana in the tarot deck. So new love coming in. Maybe when you're out dancing, there's something electric about it. Could be electric guitar. Why do I say that? Because this is Gemini energy and Geminis are so married to music. So this is sort of some sort of expression through music, expression through having fun, being out. Maybe you're going to a concert. Maybe you haven't been invited yet, but you're going to be invited. Go. This is sort of that pop off point of you just think you're out having fun. You're not out there to meet anybody, but there's something new that's beginning. Sparks are flying. Take the leap of faith. What the what? This is, this is really a good reading. <laughs> Aries, this is... Um, once again, newness, new, new, new. That's all I keep getting. And it's just like, take the leap. And a lot of people have been, actually a lot of signs have been getting that, um, have been getting that energy to just trust and to leap, a leap of faith. This is three energy. So divine intervention. Spirit's got your back, Aries. You can jump in this week and just go for it. Be fearless and bold. Now, center to your energy. This is your energy. This is Aries energy, center of the reading. So Aries, it's all about you this week. This is about you feeling yourself 
I heard it, but like really like feeling good about yourself, feeling solid. This is the number four is a stabilizing. It's an earth number. So it you feel really good about yourself. You feel really secure about your life. And that's probably why it's so easy for you to take these risks or take these chances. And they're not even risks. I, I hesitate to call them risks because from, from what it's, it's almost like it's divinely ordained that you be going down these new directions. They're not predictable, right? They're not planned but they're not really risks. This is the way you're supposed to go. I'm tell I'm going to call it this is like your Felix Felicious week, okay? In other words, you're just going to get the instinct that you're supposed to follow somewhere and go because all of this is beautiful energy of something new starting and it being more than you ever expected even though you didn't expect it kind of get it okay time for a beginner mind once again new energy this is also um this is also swords energy aquarian energy of going it's almost like walking into the room with your swords out and letting people know what you're about and not being not forget about not being afraid wanting to brandish all your little spikes so people don't mess with you so they know what's up so this is more a confidence card as well but i think beyond that you're definitely maybe standing up for yourself or talking back to something that could be derisive or, you know, um, trying to degrade you in some way. Um, but more or less, you're brandishing your swords first so that people don't mess with you to begin with. This is also uh, this is also newness. So thoughts and words. Communication will kind of be a little bit wonky during the retrograde, and that's coming on the 17th of this month. So it's almost like this week is asking a lot of signs, you included, to get it in. Say what you need to say. There is something that you're going to be bristly about. and But the thing is, it's, it's, it's almost like it's on a shallow level. You're not going to have any problem saying exactly what you need to say. Somebody has irritated you. That's what I'm saying. Somebody has pissed you off to the point where you really don't care about their opinion of you anymore you're pretty much done. But this is also the energy of four plus eight is 12, which is three, that's also divine. I think that you just have to go ahead and say what you need to say and not hold back. Transformation is beautiful. Your butterfly moment, hey. This is spreading your wings and flying, coming out of your cocoon. And if you've had the past couple of weeks being, like, ha like having struggle, feeling like things were really difficult and things were falling apart, 11. It's the awakening moment. You're waking up to a whole new you and a whole new life. And the reason why things had been difficult, why Aries, is because you were in your cocoon where you were just breaking down so you could build yourself back up again and come out as something completely transformed. This is a wonderful, this is also suggesting to me that you're thinking of different changes in your life because Aries energy is that Mars energy of I'm making a decision. I know what I want and I trust in it and I believe in it. So I do feel like there's some sort of a presence of like a conscious presence of you saying I'm making a change in my life because I don't want to do the same thing I've always done I know interests now I know my interests I've made my decisions um I know my direction I know which way that I want to go so you could be thinking of changing careers you could be thinking of going back to school you could be thinking of well getting into a new relationship you could be thinking of different opportunities like something something that a change a change and this could have come on relatively suddenly but you there's such certainty behind it that you're well you're driving it so why would you question it open to infinite possibilities this is also aquarius energy but this is like public recognition the star is shining on you this could be accolades at work or just the fact that you're getting a lot of attention this week this is the energy of five two because five plus nine is 14 one plus four is five so things are definitely shifted in your favor and i think it's more like you understand now what's important to you this is more internal energy this week less than sort of public recognition this is now you don't really care about public recognition this is about you finding what matters to you and feeling really good about it. It's almost like there has been this weight lifted off you, a clarity in your brain and in your vision. Hold on. No, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just trying to dream the world into being. So don't let your past, your future, 
just don't let it. This is sort of being haunted. You can sort of see the skeleton in back. This is this is this is wanting to look to the future, but still somehow being tethered or held back. With all the other cards on the table, it feels like a review for you. Um, I don't think that you're going to decide to be held back, but there may be a little bit of a temptation here to worry about letting go. That's interesting. That could have something to do with family, friends, or old relationships, old passions. It's almost like, did I not do enough? Did I not feel enough passion? Did I, did I, did I fail? That could be what you're asking yourself. Um, no, you just came to another step in your life. You just came to another, um, like another uh, crossroads and you're making a decision to go in a different direction. That doesn't mean failure. I, I It's interesting because I got that energy a lot on a, a private reading yesterday. And I, it, it's just how you judge yourself as if everything that you ever wanted because it didn't come true during that last phase of your life, you must have failed. But no, it just means that that phase of your life wasn't supposed to have all that stuff. You're supposed to have to move on to this new phase of your life where that stuff is waiting for you. So it's not failure. It's just leveling up. Be generous of spirit. This is Leo energy. Got a lot of fire energy coming through. You crown, you're centered with your own energy, right? You're crowned with Sagittarius energy. And now you have Leo energy plopping up in your reading too. Feeling good, feeling confident, but also future focused. You see, he always looks to the future and that's where, that's where your focus is. You see clearly now, it's almost as if you could see it in the dark. You may have taken counsel. You may have been getting counseled. You may have just sort of, it's just basically occurring to you. This is like, this is like razor sharp focus. This is energy of wisdom. Wise old owl, right? Um... Or the past, because this could also be like shadow ghost energy or a, a spirit visiting you from the past. I mean, to freak you out. But this is energy of, in other words, the past teaching you how to look forward, right? It's almost like if you're revisited by the past this week, it's going to be to illuminate you and confirm what you want to do and what you don't want to do. This is also the energy of seven. And we got, that's your crowning energy too, you are heavy in the making of something particularly important to you right now. There's a lot of change going on in your life. Um, this is also kind of, you know, badass energy. Like it's, it's, it, the owl can see the mouse from miles away in the dark. Like that's how clear his vision is. And it's because his eyes run really deep. His brain is wired that way. So I almost feel like you have a tunnel vision this week, but also because of your past experiences, it's almost like you're going to be turning down an offer that would have in the past looked really good to you. But because of what you've learned, you know, nope, not for me anymore. Nope. Take time out. This is protective energy, mother energy, you know, like mama bear energy. <clears throat> <clears throat> basically saying spirit is intervening to give you this time and uh, like protecting you. If somebody wants to protect you, maybe you want to protect somebody, but I think more or less this is protective energy around you so that you have the ability to focus on really what you want to focus on. But this is also your ferocity. This is that energy level inside of you, almost Martian, Martian, Mars energy coming out and saying, whatever, whatever it takes, it's almost like you're setting up a barrier of what you want to protect, pushing out what you want to let go of, and then ensuring that the road is clear in front of you so that when you're ready to push forward, you can. See the big picture. Yeah, you're looking in the distance. This is Taurus energy. Energy of two plus nine is also 11. This is all about being awakened and seeing in the future, your future trajectory. Uh, you are future focused this week and spirit has your back. A decision coming down, being made in your favor. This could be, uh, this is usually from a government agency. This is Capricornian energy. So in other words, it's like you played by the rules and karma's coming around to reward you. This is a karmic payout or relief or reward. Two plus three. It's also telling me that the tide is turning because it's a five energy. Once again, something is changing. 
something that had not worked out over and over and over again, as much as you tried, it hasn't worked out, but guess what? You kept on, you kept in the game. You kept going after it. This is bam. It finally working out. This is a decision being served in your favor. Something it could be actually legal, actually governmental because it has to do with sort of the military, the United States of America. This could represent a lot of things. But so you may be thinking of getting into politics. You may be thinking of running for public office because that would kind of that would kind of go with this energy, deciding to run for public office or getting involved in some sort of um, I, I don't I don't know, like like political work or something like that, that that is implied, but it doesn't have to be. This just has to do with playing by the rules, playing hardball, um, working hard and basically living up to all those Capricornian ideals. And this is the card that comes out that says you did and now you're about to take the lead. So it could be a raise or a promotion. Um, it's definitely, like I said, you're standing out, you're being recognized or you're realizing you're, you're, you're being given like, um, what do I want to say? Spirit has your back. Something's finally breaking for you. Something's fine. The door's finally opening up for you. And spirit has a plan. This is all divine timing. There's divine timing all over this. Spirit has your back and spirit has a plan. So if you feel like something is breaking, something is cracking open, it's some, this weird energy that I feel like you're actually going to feel relieved by it because you're like almost in the back of your mind, I was waiting for that to be over with. Thank God. Because I really didn't want that as a part of my life anymore anyway. It's almost like spirit might intervene to come in and say, you're not ready to make this decision for yourself, but you really do want to, so I'm going to make it for you. Sometimes life stings, right? This is, it may be painful, but it's what you need right now. This is also nagging. Something could have been nagging you for a little while, like that gadfly energy, something buzzing around that's irritating you and pissing you off, something on the web that's really frustrating you. Maybe that's what's going to make you realize, I just got to stop. I got to get off the internet. I got to stop spending so much time on Instagram or on YouTube, whatever. But, or, or I just got to stop. And maybe you've been watching somebody, looking at somebody, keep thinking about somebody, keep those thoughts that person in your head over and over again it's doing nothing for you this is like the ten of swords energy six plus four is ten this is like ten of swords card it's done it's over a painful cycle has been completed nothing is wasted all this time and this is this is a little bit of your reminiscence this week of looking back and being like um wow i've come a, i've come very far realizing that you didn't waste your time and that all of those experiences or all, you know, I don't care if you spent 20 years in a relationship and it didn't go anywhere. It wasn't time wasted. It was time learned from, and you're seeing, you're figuring out now the trash in the treasure heap, right? The, no, the treasure in the trash heap. Like you see, and that's the wisdom too. This is all air energy. It's your thoughts being cleared and you realizing that everything that you've been through has brought you to this moment. And it's almost like, you're making, you're making, you're reconciling with the past so that you can completely and totally release it and surrender now more Sagittarius energy. I don't know if you guys are hooking up with a Sagittarius or this is just energy of loving the chaos, not wanting things to be controlled or predictable of accepting the change that's coming into your life and welcoming it. This is definitely an energy of like a moth to a flame. You're just flying right in there. But you're not going to get burned because this is spirit intervention. You're almost being launched or catapulted into a direction this week. Trust in it. It's divine intervention. This is the energy of 9 plus 3 is 12. More 3 energy. Ooh. Aries, you just got to let Jesus take the wheel. That's what it is. It's like that's the energy of just spirit's got your back this week. Nothing's going to go wrong for you. I think in terms of your activity, what you're going to be doing is relinquishing the past by making peace with it. Hold on, I'm going to flip the camera around. So forget change is going to come. Change is here. Change is upon you. And there may be some of you, like I said, that, that you need a little bit of a push, right? Because you may have this like sort of mindset of, but is this right? Or is it, is it? Is it, is it legal? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to encourage you to break the law, but I'm saying like, you know, should I do it a different way or trying to be too hard on yourself? Oh, no, no, no. All of this is spirit has a plan. 
And even if there's this little push that hurts you a little bit, I think it's the hurt of letting go. That's what I think. I don't think this is new pain. I think is this is, listen, spirit made it difficult for a reason because it wasn't supposed to be where you stayed. Now you're ready to launch forward. So let's review this energy over on the extended. I'm going to extend this reading. If you'd like to join me, the link is below Aries. I will see you on the extended.